Hey, what's up guys? We're the Chain Lift. He's Mark. I'm Adam. We're back with another Coaster Spotlight. Yep. And this one we're going to be talking about a pretty cool ride called Iron Gwazi. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's at Bush Gardens in Tampa. Yep. Uh, it made its debut finally in 2022. It was supposed to open in 2020. It was delayed because of COVID. Anyways, we're going to give you yeah. the stats, the history, our thoughts. And at the end of the video, we're going to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. That's right. It has a height of 206 feet, has a drop of 206 feet, has a record breaking uh, angle of 91 degrees, which is 1 degrees steeper than Steel Vengeance or a hybrid coaster, not full yes. time, obviously. Yes. Uh, top speed is 76 miles per hour, length of 4,075 feet. Mm -hmm. You got two inversions. You got. The incredible death roll, which is basically just a zero G roll, mm -hmm. and you got the zero G stall, which is incredible. Yeah, yes. So, like I said at the top, we got to ride this. We were there opening day. Opening day, we opening got two day. of them because <laughs> they had boxes full of these yeah, things. Yeah, so they're just giving them out. Yeah, well, hello, <laughs> it's too close. Too close. Back up. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so we were there opening day when it was open to the public because they did For like your stands. Yeah, <laughs> they did. Uh, Pass holder previews leading up to it. So it was nice and juiced up by the time we got there. It was juiced up. It was. And uh, yeah, it's really cool to finally be able to ride it after watching it being built and tested and all this for two years. It, it was weird to see it. Yeah. Like in person. It was after weird. Like seeing it in photos and stuff for, for so like long. two years. And yeah. it's just like, okay, finally. You it's know? finally done. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we got on it. Uh, what'd you think of it? really good yeah uh I, I do love the station a lot i oh, yeah. love the logo mm -hmm. a lot it's particularly amazing looking at night oh yes i was very impressed with the nighttime the queue is very interesting before you get into the sort of like the queue the basic the sort the of cattle, cattle pin yeah, yeah in the station um i love the purple eye box it it just pops off oh, that it wood looks great yes just pops off mm -hmm. it uh it's a really 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 good coaster mm -hmm. uh I guess we can go over it. Uh, so the first drop, I think it's incredible. Mm -hmm. The first drop is like incredible. Mm -hmm. And this uh, one thing this thing has in abundance, it has a ton of overbank turns. Yeah, it does a lot. Tons of them. There's a really cool overbank turn that goes over the station. Yeah, that that is probably my favorite part of the entire ride. Mm -hmm. it, it even looks really cool from like uh, from the midway from yeah. the midway area. Yeah. It's a big, huge wave turn, and like it, it goes over the station. Yeah, it's so cool. cool. Yeah, and then you got, of course, you got the incredible death roll. Um, it's sort of like it's sort of anybody who's around, like you know, like Storm Chaser, or Kentucky Kingdom, or even like um, Twisted Timber. Sort of has the uh, the, cork, the zero G corkscrew roll going down the drop, yeah. right? Yep. It's, this one is much better though because you actually like go up into it, yeah, and then you go back down. Yeah, it is really cool. Which makes it, it's it's better than those other two. Yeah. You're, you're just kind of going from a stop into yeah, it and going this, down. You're going through with some speed. Yeah. yeah. You're, whoo, then twist down. Yeah. Really, really cool. Um, uh oh. Yeah. There's, I, just, yeah. I mean, I just, it's just, oh, and of course you got the, the, the really good zero G stall. I can't forget about mm -hmm. that. Who doesn't love a stall? I love a good stall. Yeah. I mean, yeah. RMC just does them so good. Mm hmm. And of course, Velocicos is an incredible stall, too. Now, I know it's, you've seen a lot more stalls now. Yeah. But, yeah, it's true. Yeah, I think he, probably my favorite part is probably the death roll, just because yep. um, how fast you go through it, and uh, there's some good moments of airtime on there. Not a ton, but you get some good like ejector air, I'd say, on yeah. this one. Um, night rides are superior to daytime rides, so we run the case for a lot of coasters, but this one in particular. Well, yeah, nighttime rides, but yes. we run the front row during the day. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And the very, we run it at night. It was pitch black night. Oh, no, and the, the the light package is really cool. It's mm -hmm. pretty simple, but it looks so cool, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we were on the very back. Holy crap, man. Mm -hmm. Whew, another level. Yes. Riding in the back at night it was so cool, and with the lights, it, it's um, lighting up the wooden structure, like purples and greens and yep. blues, so, sort of. And so, like, when you're going through the wooden structure of the coaster, it looks like you're going through, like, all these purple, sort of, like, they're not tunnels, but you, you're, like, going through these, like, lit up uh, alleys through the support structure. It yep. looks super cool. Yep. Yeah, for this ride, uh, you know, having the abundance of, like, like uh, the overbank turns and the wave turns, being in the back, 
I definitely would prefer because you're just get you're, you're constantly getting like whipped over these quick turns yeah, where you around, don't yeah. get that obviously towards the front. Mm-hmm. No matter where you set the ride, it's awesome. really good. Yeah, um, it maintains its speed really well throughout too. It's relentless, mm-hmm. relentless. Yeah, it's paced so well. Mm-hmm. Um, you really never lose any speed. No. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it, it really is excellent. Is it my favorite RMC? It is not my favorite RMC. Uh, it's probably like, I haven't really thought about that hard. It's top three, top four-ish. Mm-hmm. Um, highly recommend it. It's worth a trip down to Florida. If, yes. Of course, a lot of you guys probably live in Florida. But, um, yeah, Bush Gardens Tampa is just a, it's such a good park, period. Uh, but Iron Gwazi is, uh. Heck of an addition uh, to that park. Oh, yeah, it is. It's obviously going to win Best Ride of 2022. I mean, what else is going to beat it? Right. Uh, Icebreaker? No. Pantheon, maybe? Pan- Pantheon, Probably I guess. Probably not, though. It's going to be Iron Glossy. Yeah. I-, I would assume. Just because also because of the prestige. Mm-hmm. Everybody's been waiting for it for so yeah. long. But, uh, yeah, we guess we can score it, though, huh? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So... My first initial thought of the ride, front row, daytime, I probably would have given it a 9 out of 10. Oh, but nice. riding, riding it at night, which is our second ride, in the back, I'm bumming up to a 9.5 out of 10 overall. Um, it's not my favorite RMC, but it's like top three, I would say. Yep. Uh, it's definitely one of the best coasters in Florida. Yep. You won't be disappointed if you ride it. Check it out. It's a really good RMC coaster. It's excellent. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, I'm really sorry for everyone to be a 10 out of 10 here. Yeah. It, it, it's really, it's yeah. great. It's great. It's, it, it's, it's, I don't know. It, it, it's great. I mean, it's, mm-hmm. there's nothing like that, I guess, blew me away for a mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's excellent. I love it. Uh, it's a borderline top 15, top 10 coaster to me. It's mm-hmm. right under that range. Mm-hmm. I've been on 338 coasters. So, yeah, it's great. It's excellent. Worth your time. 9 out of 10. Check it out. Check it out. Yes. So, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram at The Chain Lift. We also got the podcast going. You can find that on Spotify. And, Sometimes we do. Yes. And <laughs> iTunes. <rarely>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, get some cool merch at thechainlift.com. That's it. See you later, Gators. In a while, Crocodile. For us, it probably will be a little <laughs> quite a while, <laughs> we'll crocodile. Yeah. Good one. Right, Iron Gwazi. See ya. You got a light, buddy? Yeah, sure, kid. There you go. And your wallet. Nick, give him your wallet. What for? He's got a knife. <laughs> That's not a knife. That's a knife.